Today, I'm going to compare our uh, mini motor system to other electric power motor on the market. So I still give you a four. <laughs> I still give you a four major difference. I just like <laughs> the four numbers. <laughs> okay, number one. Number one, the cost. The number one cost. So our whole system probably only half price. You can easily find an electric power motor is over ten thousand dollars, and uh, we're just half price. How how can I get so low price? Because this, <laughs> because this, <laughs> because we use common batteries. Okay, so the battery. The battery pack, if you just design the battery pack just for your power motor, I mean the battery pack may cost up to a half price of your whole system. I, I, I just don't want to do that. I just use a common battery. Why not? I mean this battery you can use for a lot of power tools. Why not? Right? So that's, that's how we lower the cost. And uh, number two, uh, power pack. You know, I fly these things on the flat ground. If you, uh, if you, if you put more detail, you watch another like a homemade uh, electric power motor or something. They start from slope, so which means even without the motor, you still can get in the air. And then, and then use the motor to push you get up in the air. And I start from the flat ground. So when you start from the flat ground, like a regular power motor stuff, so they need a lot of pull to push you up in the air. That's big different. You gotta remember that. That's a big, big difference. Watch another videos. Watch another electric power motor videos. If they start from the slope, which means they don't have enough power, okay? Our uh, power motor, the electric power motor, you can see it's pretty small. It's, it's not that big. It uh, can generate 18 horsepower. If you uh, look at look online, the usually the electric power motor, the, the motor is much bigger than this. I, I'm not saying the bigger is not good. I'm just saying it's it's kind of a little bit of waste compared to the price and the performance. So this 18 horsepower definitely can get you in the air, comfortable fly. Why why you want to pay double price for the bigger motor? <laughs> you know that's the point. That's a number two power and the number three design. So we we make uh, everything simple. I want everything as simple as possible. So this is uh, just one motor, one motor, one speed controller, one throttle. So you see something uh, some some on the website they have uh, multi motors like a like a drone like those like those drone. They use the multi motors, so the multi motors just make things more complicated. Every motor you add on, you need to add a speed controller, and you need to add a, a flight controller. Even identical motor doesn't perform identical, so that's why you need to use a flight controller to control to balance the output. Uh, if you use a four motor, eight motors on your package, it's just uh, so complicated. It's, it's like a, it's like a, we compare to a traditional power motor. The electric motor is uh, zero maintenance, which means you don't need to think about everything, right? So if you put a lot of motor on there, then you got to think about everything, right? <laughs> That's more complicated. I want I want things more simple. Simple design is better design. Another different design is uh, our power system. 
Because we use a, I don't know if this is clear. We use a 80 volt power. You you probably, I think that this is the for, first time people use a 80 volt power for the power motor. At least I don't see any uh, 80 volt power motor on the market. So what an advantage for the uh, higher voltage? The, the power is a voltage multiplied by current. So if you want to get a 18 horsepower, you either increase your voltage or increase your current to get that power. Or if you want more power, you have to increase both to get more power. So just compared to another uh, power motor on the market, they usually use a 48 volt, which is only uh, half of our voltage. That means they need to double the current. The current actually is a big trouble for all kind of electricity. So bigger current need a more, more big wire to uh, to let the, that much current go through, right? And the bigger current can get heat, and the heat can cause fire. That's why you use a you use a higher voltage. It's much efficient because you don't have that much heat, and it's much safer for you. Yeah, that's another big thing for designing. This uh, 80 volts, that's my, <laughs> actually this, uh, this is the highest current I can find on the market right now. If there's a 100 volt, I probably use a 100 volt, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so this, right now, this is the highest uh, voltage on the market. That's why I choose 80 volt. More efficient, more safety. Okay, that's, the, that's our uh, number three design. And then number four, usage. I always want to talk about usage because I don't want to build a system just for flying. I have a long history for power gliding. Uh, I, I own a, a power motor, and I mean traditional power motor. I, you know, before you buy the power motor, you can you think about you're going to fly every day, but the truth is, uh, n never happened. <laughs> you know. The flight time is very limited. You don't really go go out and fly every day. So if you if you buy uh, things uh, just dedicated for flying, most time it, it, it stay in your garage. <laughs> it's not for flying. So that's why I want to build something. It's uh, you know you can use for every kind of outdoor sports and. Just simply transfer it and set you or go outside. That's why. Uh, <clears throat> so the motor is only have four bolts mount on the platform, and the uh, the speed controller you just tied it on. This is more clear here. So the speed controller you just tied it on. And uh, the motor only have uh, four bolts to mount it. So you can easily transform the motor to our transform frame. And the transform frame has a very simple, like a four legs. You can easily attach on your kayak, your pendle board to become an airboat. So I want the system have much more usage. I want the system just simply give you power to go outside, not just for flying, but everything. <laughs> so today I gave you another four points of our system to our competitor. So the number one is the cost, number two, power, number three, design, and number four, usage. I hope you will make a good choice. <laughs>